Yeah, I've always loved magic. I mean, I was working on a play with angels crashing the ceiling and so on, and a play that was asking theater artists to get back into the business of making illusions. I mean, you're making people appear and disappear. I've always been very insistent with Angels in America, the magic on stage, that an effort be made. I, I, I love the fact that magic has never really worked entirely on stage, that you can always see the wires, but I like the doubleness of both, uh, the, the implausibility of it and how completely plausible it is if it's done well. I was, I was attracted to it because it takes place in a wizard's cave and it involves magic. And it's a passionate, sort of very French play about love and disappointment and disillusion. And it has a very modern feel, as many of the plays from the 17th, 18th, 17th century, especially in France, have of a, of a, of a kind of um, cynicism about love. You know, before Romanticism sort of arrived and, and, and carried all that away, there's a there's a certain rational skepticism about where love leads and a kind of willingness to look at, at love in a, um, with a sort of jaundiced eye. And, and that seems very modern to me. And the play is a comedy that ends in this kind of tragic way and then becomes something else. And I won't say what that is because it's also a play with a surprise. <laughs> and it's the first time I'd ever um, tried to do one of those. I've never actually written one, and like a twist ending. But um, it's the only time I've ever given myself permission to really write about uh, what we do. And uh, for reasons that I won't go into, it felt like a really great play uh, to do at the Signature as the last of these. I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting moment in the history of the Signature because um, after many, many, many successful years at the Peter Norton space, uh, it's, it's time to leave and to go to the Frank Gehry designed theaters across uh, 42nd Street and down the block. I, I have a, I mean, like most people who work in the theater, I think, you know, you, you love the buildings because, you know, they're our instrument. Theaters have uh, powerful sort of, you know, associations, if not, you know, if you want to get mystical, that sort of energy, uh, feeling of energy trapped in them. So it's an exciting moment. I mean, it's thrilling that the signature is now created through, or is in the process of creating and fundraising and so on for, you know, if you have money, please write a check, build a theater. Um, that's really great. But, you know, and, and hopefully some other theater will take up residence in the Peter Norton space, but leaving it behind, it feels like, you know, it's sad in a way. And it's a beautiful space. So I feel honored to be what, you know, brings its, its connection to the signature to a close. And, and I feel that, you know, in a way, this play feels like, you know, the perfect, uh, the perfect, of all the plays in my body of work, the perfect one mm -hmm. to conclude it. And um, I'm very excited.